Like, like phosphate was like nothing in there. Yeah. Yes, people, what's gonna welcome back to the channel, guys? So, just a quick update on the TMC Reef Habitat 60. She was going on. All right. First things first, guys, I lost one of my frags, yeah? And it was here before, yeah? So, literally bleached out, uh, and it was just too far gone to, to try and save. It was just gonna be a long tick. So, uh, yeah, it died. Yeah, in this hobby, if we don't have losses, we don't learn. So, my mistake, or what I wasn't checking on, was my NO3 and PO4. So, I'm currently dosing the um, Oshiamo um, Regulator A and O. So, I think it is uh, Regulator A, one of them they have what we call the um the carbon sources now carbon sources really feed bacteria that eat up no3 and po4 so that's what's been going on with the system so my system was really ulns yeah low nutrient system right which which is like it's not a good area to be in so what was happening the coral that coral in particular wasn't getting any no3 for the color any po4 to grow yeah so it was quite low so my no3 was about uh, it was about 0.2 and my PO4 was had like 0 0.003. It was literally one phosphorus, like nothing in there. Okay guys, so I don't know if you can see that coral that's really light at the top. It looks like a really light blue with a hint of green underneath. And that thing was literally white yeah and it's just because like there was no no3 in the system so what i've done is I actually purchased nios uh, nitrate plus and phosphate plus to dose into the system so currently i'm dosing one mil of phosphate in the system and i'm dosing about half a mil of no3 or nitrate into the system just to ensure that my nitrates have gone up so i tested my nitrates as of today from uh, dropping this video yeah it's actually at three ppm yeah so over the course of a week and a half I've actually raised my nitrates by 3 ppm gradually, yeah, until it got back to a decent point or decent level. Moving forward, I need to keep on dosing NO3 and PO4 into this thing and maybe test at least once a week to my PO4 is. So today, um, I tested and my PO4 says 10. Yeah, which ain't too bad. Yes, yeah, so that's, sorry, that's um, phosphorus, yeah. So 10 phosphorus is probably about 0 0.03 to 0 0.04 thereabouts. So moving forward, I need to dose at least half a mil of PO4 into this system to ensure that the corals are getting the right amount of PO4 and the levels are kept on between that um, 0 0.03 to 0 0.06 level and check on the NO3 to see that it doesn't drop below 3 ppm. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna aim for maybe 5 ppm now. I've tried in the past, it was very difficult, but I'm gonna keep on doing it slowly to ensure that the system's doing as best as it can be so the corals don't suffer and I don't lose anything, right? Um, if you can see that the colors probably have, uh, I reckon gotten a bit pale a little bit. I mean, that might just be me. You guys tell me. Um, but yeah, just need to keep on, man. Just NO3 and PO4 in this. Keep on testing. Don't get lazy. Right, guys, this is Norman for Aquatics Reefing. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time.